So today I wanna to talk to you about a simple rule for managing your money, which can have a big impact on your personal finances. Following this one simple rule can help you get out of debt and ultimately achieve financial freedom without compromising your quality of life. Today, we're gonna to talk about the 50-30-20 rule. So according to the 50-30-20 rule, 50% 50 of your monthly household income should be going straight to your needs. So these are things like your housing expenses, whether that's rent or a mortgage, your insurance, your utilities, your car payment, your groceries, your internet. So these are all the essential items that you really can't live without or you'd be severely impacted if you had to live without one of these items. So as an example, let's say you brought in $5,000 a month in income, then you expect about half of that or $2,500 to be budgeted for these essential needs in your life. So next you have 30% of your monthly income should be going towards your wants. So these are items that would cause a minor inconvenience in your life if you did not have them. And so these are small items that may increase your quality of life, but you could live without them if you absolutely had to. For example, if you had to go without your Netflix account or your daily Starbucks coffee, you certainly could go without those items, even though you probably wouldn't be too happy about that. A big one is eating out or going out on date nights. These are all expenses that would fall into this category. If you have any hobbies, such as playing video games or fishing or working on your car, as hard as it may be to accept, those are all fall into this category as well. And these are wants and not needs. And you can see how your list of want expenses can add up pretty quickly and easily get out of control. And I do think that looking at your expenses in this way and asking yourself every time you make a purchase, is this a want or is this a need, is a very helpful tactic to help manage your money. And if you're following the 50, 30, 20 rule, you should be tracking how much of your want budget you've already spent throughout the month. And once again, with our example, $5,000 a month in income, $1,500 a month should be going towards these wants in your life. And that may seem like a lot of money, but I think once you start tracking where your money is going, you'd be very surprised how much of it is going to these non-essential items, to these want items. Now the final 20% of your money should be going towards building you a better future. And this is either paying down debt or investing and saving for the future. And in my opinion, this is the most important portion of your money and unfortunately, probably the most neglected in most households. And if you currently have any debt, whether that's student loan debt, credit card debt, car payment debt, your number one priority should be to get out of debt as soon as possible. Right now, you may just be making the minimum payments on these debts, but according to the 50, 30, 20 rule, 20% of your monthly income should be going towards paying down these debts and building you a better future. And once again, with our $5,000 a month income example, this means that $1,000 a month should be going towards paying down your debt or investing and saving for the future. Now, in my opinion, this 20% should first be going towards paying down your debt. After you're completely out of debt, then you wanna start putting this 20% towards building an emergency fund. An emergency fund is three to six months of your household expenses for when an emergency does happen. So this is an emergency like you losing your job or an unexpected car repair or an unexpected medical bill. The purpose of your emergency fund is to keep you from going back in debt. Now, after you're out of debt and you have your emergency fund saved up, now you wanna put this 20% of your income towards investments for the future. So these are gonna be things like your 401k. And this 20% of your income that you're investing today is there to ultimately allow you to get out of the rat race and ultimately retire. So the 50, 30, 20 rule should really be used as a general framework to compare your monthly budget against. For example, if you start looking at your last month's expenses and you see that 50% of your income was going towards these want items, then you know that you may wanna dial that back a bit. And also if you look at your last month's expenses and you see that only 5% of your monthly income was going towards paying down your debt or investments, you may wanna ramp that back up to 20%. You don't always have to hit the 50, 30, 20 rule exactly, but use it as a reference to compare your current budget against, and it should give you some idea of where your money should be going. Now, after you have your household budget in control, if you wanna learn what the six steps are to achieve financial freedom in your lifetime, check out this video I did right here, breaking those six steps down for you. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon to get notified every time I upload a new video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you over in the next video.